Hey tribe, how you going? Hopefully the mic and everything works. Um, it's your boy Willie P coming at you today. I have got stumped and rigged into doing the leg workout. So Paul Lou, you win. You get to see me do a leg workout. Oh dear, I'm not looking forward to this. Um, anyway, I've gone through all the videos today. I won't necessarily, I'm not going to be doing the hardest versions of anything. I haven't trained any um, intensification like this before, so, or for a long time. So I'll be doing all the re most regressed versions. So for anyone out there who's normal like myself, you will uh, thank me for it. But anyone else, uh, feel free to go as hard as you like. Um, Rad, if you can hit uh, play on the telly and I will get into the warm up. White whale. My mic is the only mic that works. Cool. Can you guys hear me? Okay. I hear my croaky voice. Spinal waves. Yeah, I'm procrastinating. <coughs> Ooh. Getting these knees warmed up and whatnot. This is my biggest issue. Doing a lot of rehab with the. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep trying uh, to talk here, guys, and uh, let me know anybody when you can hear me. Uh, just give a little. Oh my God! I can hear Rad. Yeah. More good. Yeah, they can hear me. They can hear me. Yeah, definitely. We're, we're on. Yeah, right. yeah, they can hear you. All right, tribe. So hopefully, if you can hear me, uh, oh, yeah. Just well, I was just saying before. I don't know if you heard me or not, but yesterday I got my first. Uh, <laughs> everybody's going, oh my god, Rad. Yeah, yesterday I got my first dose of um, <coughs> Pfizer, and I'm just not feeling 100% uh, today. So I decided to get Will in front of the camera, but I'm now uh, vaxxed, waxed, and ready to relax for a Tuesday's workout. <laughs> <laughs> You're not actually meant to do an intensive exercise session straight after. Yeah, that's what uh, they say. But, you know, I got, uh, look, I've heard, uh, I, I mean, we all know a hell of a lot of people that have been vaccinated now, right? And some of, some of the people that I'm in close contact with went, really went down with a fever and just a horrendous, uh, you know, common side effect, right, from the, from the vaccine. And I can feel it coming on a little bit and considering how much work we've got uh, and, and the fact that I do need to do these shows every day, I decided to, um, to just sit on the sidelines today. So you guys have got me on the, uh, on the mic coming at ya. Lucky tribe. Coming at ya. Yeah, everybody's saying, everybody's saying, when are you guys opening up? When are you opening up? Let me tell Thank you God. this. 
I've got no idea because it ain't up to me. It never has been. <laughs> but as soon as we can, as soon as the government says you can open up. We, they did yesterday. We can open up on the 11th. Monday the it's 11th. It's happening. Yeah. Monday, wow, we've got a date. Monday All the right. 11th. All right. So, it's official. So, that's, so we've got an, another this week and next week. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. It's official. Look out. Yeah, Monday the 11th is uh, we're allowed to open up. Uh, it'll be interesting. Paul, I am absolutely going to roast Willie P for the <laughs> entire session. You can bet your biscuits on it. Any, any drop biscuits. in form or technique or intensity, and he is going to be copying both barrels. Don't you worry about that. This is going to be a lesson of can you spot what Will shouldn't be doing. <laughs> <laughs> now, we, we, will, we will take this opportunity to ask you all to smash that like button. I know we got 23 smash on the live it. stream and only 14 likes. Oh, my God. That's not the way you're going to get the best out of Will. If, uh, I think with every like, we'll get him to do one more rep. Can and you believe that uh, I, I forgot it's to suddenly smash not the like button? One anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And of course, also at some point uh, at the start of the workout, take the opportunity to use that little share button and share the stream to one of your favourite social media platforms. You know, and it's good as saying good as saying that you can open in two weeks, but you need to be vaccinated if you want to attend or anything like that's that. That's right. Yeah. yeah, and that's why I say it's going to be interesting. Yeah, because we have a cohort of members who are not going to get vaccinated, and uh, I don't think I'll be telling people no. Like, yeah, I don't. I don't want to be that person. Yeah. If someone turns up, I'm not going to ask them. Yeah. It it's my a, opinion. Yeah, it is a very. Uh, it I'm, is a very I'm, interesting I'm fully vaccinated and safe. <laughs> yeah. 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 Anyway, there we go. So, how's everyone doing today? Who who have we got uh, doing the workout? We got a, we got a good little gang going on here. We got 28, 28 watching, but only eighteen likes. Come on, we can do better than that. Smash that like button for crying out loud. Smash the like button if you like hearing my voice uh, on a good mic without huffing and puffing. Come on, everybody. I know you do. And uh, smash that like button if you like. Uh, I mean, Willie P is freshly shaved. You probably, you guys don't see him in front of the camera that often, but he's uh, he's been looking a little bit bushy lately. I sure and have. Um, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good fun. So I haven't done these movements I think since lockdown. Yeah. Um, Willie P is saying he hasn't done these movements in lock since lockdown. He's been skipping his 360 hip mobility. Sure have. <laughs> <laughs> Simon's saying, oh God, it's Rad's first time behind the mic and he's energised. Payback time. It sure <laughs> is. I am. This is a really exciting experience for me. I've actually literally never once sat in this chair and watched somebody else do one of the at-home workouts. It has always been me, except for those uh, two days that I was isolating last week. But uh, we didn't do it at all, so anyway, there you go. Was that last week? I feel like I'm in a time warp. Was it last week or the yeah, week before? Last week. It was last week. Jesus. What happened last week? That was <laughs> the two today. days that I, I thought we thought I came in contact oh, with yes. somebody and we yeah. had to close and well I got sure was. waited for my I, test I, I did two workouts on the weekend to make up for it back to back. Oh, that's right. It yeah. was. Jesus. Yeah. God. <laughs> We're doing so, you, you would not believe how much we are fighting here um, at the moment because, you know, this, this uh, lockdown situation and, the, and the, uh, the desperation that all small business owners are going through. Uh, we ain't having no holidays around here and uh, when we took those two days off, we ended up coming in on Saturday uh, and I was here cool. from 8am until 6pm um, working my butt off. Um, sitting behind the camera. I was working way harder than Yanni and Richard. They only had to do two workouts each. I had to film it all. So spare, <laughs> spare a thought for me. Um, we, uh, we don't, we're not sending a lot of love to Will, guys. 19 likes, 26 watching live. Come on. You guys well, can do better than that. It saying, doesn't happen often, but when it does happen, it happens big. We go big. Let's go. Come on. Paul's saying, am I still planning to yell profanities intermittently throughout the workout? You, be, you bet your biscuits. But I'm planning on doing it, but, the, but I keep seeing Yanni snarl and look over at me, so I'm going to you know, really do my best to not... Um, I swear. Do you know what'll be really funny? If Will just crushes this workout without one swear word or profanity. Yeah, let's see. Let's uh, see. I see what you're trying to do there, Yanni, but I'm not picking <laughs> it up. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, Patricia Sturbys is saying, awesome. Yeah, you're damn straight. You know, um, 
for those of you uh, unaware of what it is that we're doing outside of these at-home workouts, we are working our butts off Ooh. to get a full 12 phases of the UNS gym workouts uh, filmed, locked and loaded. Gym and, and home workouts. Gym and home workouts. Um, because it's a it's a real oh, 20 likes and 20 watching live golden cross time it's a real uh, it's a it, it's a hell of a lot of work for us to do all this stuff um, and when it's something that we just have to chip away and, and it's constantly in the background um, it prevents us from working on uh, higher level tasks and so we're we're making a real push to get um, to get 12 of these phases done so that we can uh, put our attention into, for, into other things. For any like of you who everybody. are wondering, Will just went over to the side and had a quick spew. He's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just had a quick drink. Where's the... Uh, um, we're just going to get these uh, clocks set up, gang. I'm just doing a little bit of mobs through the ankle. It's like last, oh, yesterday, because we're doing this one rep max, you can take your warm-up a little more seriously. Could uh, Kurt Dyer saying, looking good, Will? Looking Thanks, good. buddy. <laughs> Rad can't help himself. He has to get in front of the camera. Kurt, I missed you yesterday. I gracious. wanted to uh, chat all things <laughs> rugby with you and how lucky the ABs were to pull off that win. Mm. God, I was gone from South Africa bad, but... Lucky for everybody that uh, couldn't give a crap about rugby. I won't be talking about <laughs> rugby at all today. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I'll pick it up. All right, right are we ready, Let's Will? It. Are we ready? Is everybody ready? I better bring this workout up. Gunnar um, Guna Nielsen said you have to, you, you'll get a big fine. Gunnar, there's no money to find, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would laugh if they find me. Yeah. We're, we're broke. Yeah. I think it'd be a, uh, a quite oh, funny oh, episode. Oh. You got it. <laughs> Okay. All right, tribe, let's get into this. So. Okay, so we're starting with our one rep. Uh, if I can get this timer to work. Tribe, I'm going to be doing... Oh, we don't have a towel set up either. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, let's uh, You guys know what the towel looks like. I'll, I'll set it up. You can get here. started. You can get started. There's a towel right there Go. next to you. So All right, Tribe. One rep max. One rep max. I'm going to be doing the skater squat. As we all know, is the most progressed version. So you do your hardest version that you can do, guys, for one rep, okay? The version that you find the most challenging, but the key is you've still got to be able to maintain ah! the form and technique. You do not do it at the expense of your form and, and technique. Well, that is man. That was all right. My biggest issue, Tribe, is that I've got a lot of, what does Nilesh call it? It's not tendinopathy specifically, but patella femoral pain and whatnot. My knees are all just messed up from doing lots of years of running so he hasn't after done a warm-up it's like oh, oh yeah you gotta do it's like one. whether or not i'm gonna actually be able to bend my knees or not but so far so good he hasn't done enough vmo step ups <coughs> hamstring curls and calf oh. raises that's the problem oh yeah how's that stick that in your pipe and smoke it lat stretch <laughs> all righty tribe into the lat stretch lat towel stretch buddy boy Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> about 30 seconds. Oh, there's a serious wave of satisfaction coming over me right now. Yeah? Uh, You're welcome. Sitting in this chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times, good times. So we're in, uh, we're in week two of phase eight, aren't we, everybody? This is week two, I'm pretty sure. So I hope we're all oh, starting to feel like you're getting the, the hang of these one fives. Yesterday, um, yeah, those one RMs of those handstand push-ups, woo, they get me. How, how did everybody else do uh, with yesterday? How did you pull up after the, uh, after the workout? I actually, um, man, I really went for it on those towel rows. Anybody that was watching yesterday, I'm sure you, you, could, you could tell. I, um, oh God, I was, uh, that, I, I was boasting in phase seven about how I don't really feel it in my grip anymore. Um, that is out the window now, doing Ooh. five reps of those towel rows with all those pauses. Oh, oh grip, my yeah. God. Ooh. All right, so Will, you've got Ooh. one eccentric Nordic hamstring curl now. Oh your, yeah. Your best effort, buddy. These are not bad. Yeah. Here we've got the chest strap. Remember with the eccentric Nordic hamstring curl, um, as long as you can do three seconds, three seconds is uh, all it takes 
to uh, to build some serious strength with your with whatever movement you're doing, um, as long as you can maintain a three second uh, contraction, which is everything that I'm going for when I do these. So, um, righty tribe. Yeah. So let's get some real tension. You're you're probably using your couch or your bed here to get your feet under there, and. Um, Let's see how we go, Will. Nice, nice, there we go. Good work, control it, control it, control it. Ugh. Oh, look at that, well done. If I was you, Will, I would bend mm. at the hips more next time. So yeah. That you, so that you don't Couldn't drop really so much right at the end there. I just remembered I haven't done a one rep max in my hammies for months, so yeah, good halfway through on the way down there. All right, All now right. we're doing the shoulder, ex shoulder extension stretch. So with this one, the closer your hands are together, the uh, more, the greater the demand of flexibility. Uh, that doesn't mean that makes it better. That doesn't necessarily mean that's what you should do. That's like saying, you know, when you do the middle splits, you should be doing uh, 180 degrees with your legs. Well, you know, good luck with that. Um, but that is the goal at the end. So in the same way that the goal for the splits is to get your legs at 180 degrees, the goal for this is to eventually get your hands very close together, but just do the best you can. And whatever you're doing, you should be retracting the shoulder blades. You should be squeezing the shoulder blades together in retraction. And uh, Kurt Dyer is saying, looking good, Will. Isn't he just? Isn't he just looking good? Thanks, buddy. If there's any uh, lovely ladies out there that want Will's number, just send me a message and I'll forward it through to you. And uh, hey, if there's any lovely <laughs> men out there, Will will probably swing uh, for, uh, <laughs> for the right love, person. Love, love. <laughs> love is love. All right, we've got about 35 seconds. We start our round of five reps. That's right. Coming at you. Come here, Petra. Kurt Dyer is saying, yes, Will, the All Blacks had me stressing right to the final whistle for Yanni. Oh, New heavyweight champ after AJ getting outboxed for Rad. Valentina Ooh, put yeah. on a martial arts display yeah, at Anthony the UFC 266 yesterday. Really? Two old, two old mix. What his name is. Wow. Yeah. Five seconds, everyone. Get ready for your five reps. Here we go. What are you doing, Will, for five reps? Well, there isn't a uh, version of regress okay. further than the skater, so okay, I'm going to give you can, my You can do shot. a pistol squat. Oh, I'm worse at those. You're worse at yeah. those. Okay. Yeah. We'll go through it. We'll, we'll make it try. Yeah. My control is going to be as good. But even do eccentrics, just do eccentrics. Now come up however you can. Yeah. Nice, nice, good work. Yeah. Holy crap, AJ got out boxed. <sighs> I didn't realise that the <laughs> fight was on the Paul Lou is saying, what's whiter, Will or the towel? <laughs> it is hard to say, isn't it? <sighs> ah, your beauty. Yes. Crush it. All right, other leg tribe. Swapping over. This is my dodgy one. Stronger. How do you feel that? Whoops. Is this your better leg or your worst leg? Oh, it's a stronger leg, but yeah. it's also the most effed up knee. Yeah, nice. I like it. <sighs> it's getting better with every rep. See? Super compensation. <laughs> I don't feel you need to shut up, brother. We're all about the communication here. We are all about the love. <laughs> I don't know what I'm actually getting a, uh, a, a really, I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, really. It's very, very funny. But seeing people from around the world post pictures of themselves wearing a t-shirt with my face on it is, uh, is hilarious. I never in my wildest dreams with all my ambitions for success, stretch. for success when I was younger, never did I dream that people would be wearing t-shirts with my face on it. So thanks for the love everybody and for showing your, uh, your support for us. Um, and uh, I think it was Tom Wood who was the first one that suggested we should put that shut up and do some burpees on a shirt. Um, so thanks for that for everybody that was around uh, for, the, for the phase one at home workouts uh, who made that shirt what it is. It's, uh, it's absolutely hilarious. And um, we actually got our first uh, order of our Motion is Lotion shirts. And we've got one of our uh, dear members, Jose, to thank for that one. Um, he, he designed it all himself. He pushed for us to get it done. And um, it, they look awesome. They're so, so cool. Yeah, I saw a couple of those come through on the mail yesterday. Yeah, they look really cool. A few of our members cool. have gotten their gear and yeah. hopefully we'll be posting it to our social media accounts. Yeah, he's got a, he's a graphic artist, Jose, so he yeah. designed that shirt completely himself. And, and man, it looks so cool. 
Um, Mark is saying Mark Van Ziel on that upper body today uh, will get it. <laughs> Hit the yeah, tomato and need to need a shout out in the circuit. <laughs> yeah, man, we'll uh, we'll give you a shout out, Mark. Um, yeah, that upper body workout is it's it's funny, you know, when you do intensification training. Ooh. Yanni and Richard last week they were filming. Both of them were filming the phase six and phase eight of the UMS, which is no phase five and phase seven, which are both accumulation. Get ready for of our the UMS. exercise trip. Will's getting ready for his uh, five reps of the Nordic hamstring curl. Uh, so glued ham race for this <sighs> one, I think. Um, and yep. uh, yeah, they were both murdered last week from doing that accumulation phase. And now this week they're both filming intensification Alrighty, phases for the UMS gym workouts. And of course, this is an intensification phase. And it's a very different demand on the body, isn't it? When you're doing these uh, higher intensity, but far less volume, um, it, it, it feels very different. Like the, the inability to be able to do more than one rep is, a, is an interesting feeling. But at the end of the workout, you don't feel as wrecked. I certainly don't. Anyway. So you can see Will's uh, regress to a glute ham raise here rather than an eccentric Nordic hamstring curl. Much easier, the glute ham raise. And uh, a, a great way to be able to increase the volume and get your five reps done Almost whilst still keeping easy. a high intensity. Yeah. No. Yeah. Fun fact about hamstring training is that the hamstrings are predominantly fast twitch muscle fibers, meaning that they are, they are designed for fast and explosive uh, movements, but not as great. Uh, they don't have as many um, slow twitch muscle fibers in there. And uh, which means that they respond best to uh, lower rep ranges and higher uh, levels of intensity when strength mm. training them. So generally speaking, there is a, there's a really good uh, argument and reason to sometimes do, you know, the 12 to 15 rep range for things like shoulder presses and uh, other movements in the body. But for the hamstrings, uh, generally speaking, there's not a good reason to do those higher rep ranges for them, which is why we usually keep the rep ranges low and the intensity high. What about the booty? And for the booty, mm. that's a question for Yanni. Yanni is the, the, the glutes. Being so. What? The are booty. the glutes predominantly fast switch muscle fibers like the hamstrings? I don't think they are, are they? I think they are, yeah. Really? The glute, the glute max, uh, though. The, the, the glute pushes a lot. It, it, yeah, the glute max is. Yeah. Because, because the glute, uh, the other parts of the glutes. Um, we go run one rep max, guys. Here we go, one rep max, everyone. We're on to round three here. So this is our second. Nah. Round for the one oh. rep max. Let's get it going. Oh, Will's going oh, for it. Look at this. He's doing eccentric. He's Just doing an eccentric. Control that bad boy, Will. Come on. Woo, look at that. Oh, what a oh. legend. What a legend. <laughs> Not bad. If you grab up around your toes and less around the foot, you'll actually find it a bit easier. Ooh. Mind that for Hot this tip for young players. Don't tell him that. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. Yeah, the glutes, um, the glutes uh, have a stabilization uh, element to it, a massive stabilization element to it. And because the glutes do uh, more, much more of the work for just walking around, whereas the hamstrings uh, usually come into play for sprinting and jumping more, uh, I couldn't, con I can't confirm this for you, but I would imagine that the glutes um, do have more yeah, slow twitch muscle yeah. fibers in them, more of a mixture. Yeah. And it's funny, when we say they have more or less of a fast twitch or slow twitch, it's actually only... 68% slow twitch and 32% fast twitch. Yeah, there you go. And what's Hammy's? Just for numbers sake. There's another study that says 52% slow twitch and 48% fast twitch for the glutes. What I'd read, and it uh, depends on what you read, of course, but the last time I remember reading up about all this sciencey stuff, I remember reading that the difference between a more uh, dominant fast twitch and a more dominant slow twitch was only about two to four percent of, of a difference, like a, like a 48% oh, slow on. twitch and a 52% fast twitch, or the other way around. Uh, but again, uh, that was that was a little while ago when I was reading that, so. Obviously, yeah. Tribe, you can, you're grabbing onto your towel. I'm grabbing onto the rings. The towel's a bit low for me. My lats are on fire from my session yesterday. Yeah. I um, still want me to go as low. Got 23 like likes and 22 watching the live stream, Tribe. 23 now. 23, 23. 23. If you haven't smashed that like button, send Will some love. We'll certainly let him know that you care. So, Give for him a thumbs up. 
The best way, uh, what Will was uh, talking about with um, the towel being set up a bit low for him, the best way to fix that is with a teaspoon of concrete to glass it harden up. And I heard you um, going to say it, and yeah. then Yanni said something, I was like, he's not going to let that go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get ready for our eccentric glued ham. Eccentric glued ham. Now, Will, I want to see a little bit more of an angle in the hips and a, and a slower control on that eccentric, mate, down at the bottom of the range. You, you Here we go. Bad. I'm on him, guys. I'm not letting him. Uh, I'm not letting him get away with no half-ass workouts today. You can see him controlling that. Come on, work for it, Mr. Mr. Billy <coughs> P. That was heaps better. Do, do you guys agree? <coughs> I even let one rip at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too bad. All right, we've got a minute 40 <sighs> left, everyone. So let's get into a little bit of a shoulder extension stretch here. Oh, dearie me! It's looking more like a razor curl. Is that is that your mouth? Yes, it was yeah. my mouth. It I went, <laughs> and as soon as I did, I was like, "That probably so sounds he says. sounded a bit close to the microphone." So he yeah. says. Imagine Good how Lord. powerful my flatulence would be if you could hear that clearly. I'd be proud. <sighs> yes, Kurt Dyer. I was um, watching the, the Safa verse. The All Blacks, and my God, I was screaming for the South Africans to win. I thought if they beat the All Blacks, there's actually a chance that Australia could be right up in the running for the rugby championship. But alas, the ABs are too good. <laughs> so everybody, before we get into the next round, I've got a fun fact for you. Uh, a human fart can be louder than a trombone. I actually found that out at my nephew's uh, school concert just before lockdown. So. <laughs> <laughs> We've got 30 seconds, try. <sighs> the dad jokes. <laughs> dad jokes are legit. <laughs> Lou Bayes is saying, oh no, I can't believe I missed Will on the screen. Had to get up early. And uh, I did last week's Happy Tuesday haul. No problem, Lou. Great to see that you're still Hi, getting Lou. it done. That's what matters. Um, Lou, don't forget to come down and grab your uh, T-shirt. Yeah, don't. I keep forgetting Will's got a microphone on. Uh, so you can hear him. I don't need to repeat what he's saying. Okay, here we go, Alrighty. Tribe. We're on to the second round of five reps. Five reps. Mini Brown saying, with a half ass workout, would that be mostly slow twitch or fast twitch glute muscles? That's not really how it works, brother. Um, yeah, it's more that the... Um, it's more that the, you, you know you have a certain uh, amount of fast twitch versus slow twitch muscle fibers in any muscle body. Uh, and that can change from person to person as well. Some people are more fast twitch dominant, some people are more slow twitch dominant. It can dominant. also change based on how you train. Yeah, you, you can, can actually... You can, you, actually can you can adapt to the stimulus yeah. over time. Uh, uh, but yeah, genetics yeah. play a large role in that. And okay. um, yeah, what it means, Vinny, is that you Dropping respond... It, 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 it alters the, the best, the ideal rep range for you, your optimal <coughs> rep range. Someone who's very, very predominantly fast twitch muscle fibers will tend to adapt better to lower rep ranges, higher intensity. And for people with slower twitch, inherently slower twitch muscle fibers, they tend to uh, adapt better to more volume, lower intensity. That's right. Yeah, a lot of fun facts out there about training and, and, uh, and all these things. And uh, you know, if you wanna get really, really technical, there's some um, two or three inch books that you can, thick, thickness books that you can read if you, if you want some uh, recommendations. I, I, I used to, I, I remember uh, for a period of time when I was a ooh. personal trainer doing one-on-one -on -one coaching only, I used to put everyone through a, a, a sequence of testing under protocols to figure right? out what lat they stretch. were. The wheels under the lat stretch. To figure out whether they were predominantly fast or slower twitch to dictate the rep ranges that I'd prescribe. Um, well, where we were. Oh, Vinnie Brown saying, laugh out loud, that awkward moment when you get a serious answer and a really interesting one to a lame attempt at a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, you can't, you, you don't, you can't uh, really see the humour coming through when, when um, like the annotation in tone when people are typing um, on the internet. Uh, well, there you go, Vinny. Uh, you got yourself a, uh, you got yourself a good, yeah. a good answer to Yeah, all those poor internet your, trolls out joke. there are just misunderstood. <laughs> Simon's saying, laugh out loud, Vinny sucked in the boys with his dad joke. <laughs> Speaking of LOLs, um, I actually... 
<laughs> Speaking of LOL. Well, LOL, it comes from <laughs> online gaming where people type LOL, uh, you know, and it's saying laugh out loud. But I watched uh, Free Guy yesterday. Did you watch the whole thing? Yeah. Oh, I want to that see that. That is it's so hilarious. Funny. That yeah, is I really one of the... I haven't laughed out loud in a movie. There is. Yeah. I mean, I'm a gamer, so I really got it. But yeah. you said it's loosely based off GTA. It ain't loosely based yeah. off GTA at all. It is based off GTA. Yeah. Yeah. And it is so funny. Just, well, the things that uh, happen in the guys. background yeah. when he's walking around, there's this one shot. I lost it. Where it, they're just walking and talking and you see this character you know with the glasses because all the all the players have glasses and that's what defines them as being different comes around the corner in a motorbike and there's a car in front of him and he jumps does a 360 <laughs> over the motorbike and over the car and keeps going oh my god it was so funny <sighs> I lost it. that whole scene with Channing Tatum when he goes into his his lair and he realizes who he is and he's like, bro, you got to kill me, man. Come on, I'm on a stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was yeah. so funny. If you're not a gamer or you don't play video games, you probably won't find it as funny as I did. But Jesus, I was in stitches. I was in stitches. Ryan Reynolds is hilarious. Ryan Reynolds is so good, man. God, he does good stuff. He's, uh, I've, right. I've got a lot of respect for that dude. He's, he, yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Richard saying, you got, yeah, <laughs> not me, mate. You don't have to keep me in check. You got to keep Yanni in check. Yanni is hopeless. Who Yanni the hell was just talking about the movie? <laughs> I didn't say a freaking word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you've learned, haven't you? Patricia you've Sturby's that, um, still cares about you, Will. Oh, uh, thanks, Patricia. Rad and I may be off on a complete tangent, <laughs> but Patricia Sturby's saying you're doing great. I know how Rad feels when we start talking about sports. And Will Land is saying that he's, uh, that he's seen that movie and he loves it. Sorry, Will, I cut you off. Oh, it's done. Richard's saying both of you, that's for sure. Nah, mate, I don't ruin movies. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Good times. 25 likes, 25 watching live. Nice to see you guys sending Will some love and appreciation yeah. for what he's doing. Believe it or not, this is a challenge for Will. <laughs> yeah, I just naturally look this red all the time, so people can't tell <laughs> that I'm actually working hard. All right, we're into our uh, last round of five here. We're into... Yes, uh, we are. Yeah. Uh, yep. Sorry, F1. One. one. This is one. You just did five. I just did an eccentric on my hammies as well. Hope you guys didn't. Yeah, that is right. I did do five on the shrimp and then one on the hamstring. This isn't easy being out here. <laughs> so now you're on one. This now is, I'm on this one. This is your last round of one, yeah? Yep. Get that bad boy back. <laughs> Come on, focus. Here we go. Come on, everybody. Focus. You should be going about as red as Will's hair is now. Oh, I'm doing you okay. one rep. It should be maximum effort. Maximum. Maximum, maximum velocity. Good we uh, I actually had a, a, a chat with a good friend of ours, Sebastian Orib, a.k.a. Australian Strength Coach, yesterday about calculating the numbers for the 1-5 method. And uh, there is no one that I know uh, who is better or more qualified to be teaching how to calculate percentages oh. of numbers when you change rep ranges than that dude. Because his life is about numbers and... And, uh, and he uh, he produces results, and that's all going to be coming out with the 1-5 uh, method in phase eight of the UMS gym workouts that, uh, that Richie is filming at the moment. And uh, for those of you in that's the UMS rich. online coaching program, Yanni is the model for phase uh, six and seven. So once you get to phase six, you're going to start seeing Yanni do some workouts for the first time. And it's pretty exciting because he's pretty bloody strong. So he's lifting probably the second most amount of weights that you will have ever seen anybody lift next to me, of course. Um, <laughs> but he does pretty well. He's, uh, he does a good job. Uh, um, yeah. So yeah, keep a lookout because for those of you that have been uh, subscribed uh, to us for a little while now, I think our... Uh, our senior students or the people that have been with us for long enough are on phase four now. So Richie is uh, the phase five model and then Yanni is phase six and seven. I only come out when the real men start to work yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When Rad's sick. Yeah. Phase 64 onwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good times. <sighs> Gunnar's saying you did wrong, Will, back on one. Yeah, it's one. It's one for this round. That's right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah that's right. Don't worry, everybody. Uh, Gunnar will be very happy to always point out your mistakes as a coach. Yeah. He's, uh, <laughs> yeah. he's, he's he loves a reminding us. He's a professional referee. He's yeah, an umpire, yeah. for God's sake. Yeah. Of course he will. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't blow a whistle. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I was training Gunnar in a class um, earlier this year and he came over and tried to give me a yellow card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love warning. that. That's awesome. Yeah, he. Uh, you're gonna, Will's gonna, Will's gonna get a red card for that. Gunnar, remember that. Bring him a red card. Yeah, you're off. You're off. And he'll be delighted. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Good times, <clears throat> eh? Good times. <clears throat> oh, pardon me, tribe. All right, one rep max here. One no rep. Here we go. Last eccentric rep of the Nordics. Come on, make it happen, everybody. You should be working your butts off here. Control that contraction. Don't drop in the uh, end range of the motion. Try to control oh, it all can... the way, all the way, all the way. <sighs> nice work, guys. Man, I really nice feel those hammies are not having fun with that. That point where you think they're going to rip off the bone. Come on, Paul Lou. You've got to be doing better than me. Good question there by Vinny, Vinny Brown. This is a serious question, not a dad joke. So back to the real questions. Better to do one eccentric squat rep or go about halfway down and halfway up? And that's an, uh, an, a loaded question because there's no real right answer to that. Uh, you could do both and uh, there are benefits to both. You know, if, especially if you've got like instability past halfway beyond halfway then i'd certainly say yeah train in that range whilst you develop the strength to go deeper but eccentrics are also a really great way to use as a tool in your toolbox to bust through plateaus strength plateaus so yeah it's kind of an uh an each way wins answer paul lou saying october 11th see you on the bike willie p <laughs> I will not be on the bike. I'll be yelling at you who will be on the bike. <laughs> I sent Paul a birthday message earlier this month. Um, I was sitting next to the assault bikes up the back, pretending to have a chat, and I was like, hey, Paul. The <laughs> bikes and I were just chatting and saying that we wanted to wish you a happy birthday. <laughs> Enjoyed it. Gunnar Nielsen saying how effing Ooh, hard it is go, to guys. hold with two Let's toes. go, Tribe. We're on our last round, last round of five. Let's five make rounds. it happen. You'll be up to. Let's make it happen. Let's see who the athlete in the oh, room no, is. Not I. That that meme, was it Andy? It was Dave Clark, I Dave think. Clark that did that one, the who's the athlete in the room, not me. Not me. <laughs> that, was, that was one of the best memes for, out of all of our tribe that have done these at-home workout memes. God, that was a cracker. I, uh, I got a very good chuckle out of that one. Three. And is saying effing hard holding it with two toes. Did, did, did you see the uh, did you see the uh, karate kid one? The recent karate kid one? That was gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> no sensei. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. All right, other legs. Oh, there's, been, there's been so many good ones. Do you need equipment in the at home workouts? Uh -huh. No sensei. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I really like that. There was that. The Star Trek one, I think, that Dave did as well. There's a there's a message coming through from Earth. Look, it's Rad with the Adam. <laughs> yeah. Uh, They'll get a message like and, you would get and a the notification. the Star Wars one as well. The at-home workouts are a path to many <laughs> powers that some how seem unnatural. Is, how good is the Star Wars uh, adage at the end at the end of the film? Like, oh yeah, that was good. Old. <laughs> so now you're going to ruin it for for Richard. See, there's Yanni ruining movies right there. <laughs> Oh, this. Uh, Catchphrase. Right. <laughs> you. Remember that, yo? What's that? Catchphrase. Catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I love how the CEO is like, that's the, that's, what's better than the word catchphrase as a catchphrase? <laughs> <laughs> All right, tribe. Sorry, Yanni and me are nerding out here oh, a little bit. That stretch. All right, we're, we're, we're right in this last round here, guys. We've only got the lat stretch, glute ham raise, and the uh, 
uh, shoulder stretch to go, and then the workout is oh. over. It's going to be finished. Oh, wait. No, hang on a minute. Will has to do a cardio circuit. Oh, mate, that cardio is <laughs> what I'm all about. I can do that. Woo! I'm, I'm actually starting to get really excited now because, you guys, if, if anybody thinks I've been hard on Will so far, you ain't <laughs> seen nothing yet. <laughs> No, oh, you ain't seen nothing Will is going to be pulling no punches. Rather, I'll be pulling no punches. Do a roundhouse kick. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Who wants to see Will do a jumping, spinning roundhouse kick? Like well, I did at the end of this workout. Please uh, type, a, type a big Y in the uh, comments section if you'd like to see that. Give yourself a big Y and do it yourself. <laughs> you want a roundhouse kick. Qua, <laughs> qua. That's all I got. <laughs> Alrighty, glute ham. Here we go, five reps of the glute ham raise. Oh. Who wants to see Will bust out some salsa at the end of this uh, workout? Oh, that's nope. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about salsa the other day and realised I haven't done it for two years now. Diane saying, uh, poor Lou is saying 1,000 times yes. Um, and I, reckon, uh, I reckon if we get enough yeses, uh, Will's going to have to bust out some salsa moves. Diane, yes, I am uh, very chipper. It is a, it is a, it's truly an enjoyable experience for me sitting in this chair here. Uh, I'm really not used to it. Oh, there we go. And oh. it's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit of fun. Yanni and I were talking uh, the other day um, about how, how as we age, we're going to have to get some um, young, fit, uh, attractive models in front of the camera for us. Uh, not so much just because we age, but because that's just what you do with a business. When you uh, when you grow a business, you you have to you have to hire and you have to get people to do jobs. As a business owner, you have to focus on the strategizing and the growth. And at some stage, we're going to have to get some people to share the load of being in front of the camera that uh, that is now largely falls on on my shoulders and uh, a little bit on Yanni and Richie as well. Lucky we've got Richie. Richie's definitely still got a few years ahead of him of being oh, the, yeah. the young stud of the uh, of the business. Richie the rig. Richie the rig. Yeah, he's not oh. shown any sign of slowing down uh, with the studness. <laughs> all right, so there we are, tribe. That is the end of the primary workout. You are all now welcome to grab a quick drink if needed, and we will give you sixty seconds before we start this supplementary circuit. And. Uh, Smash that like button if you haven't already. What are we doing? So we got tuck ups. Yanni, do you want to grab that? Or Will, do you want to go and grab that? Um, Matt, for yourself. Tuck ups, then Cossack squats, then squat jumps, then stepping and punching. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Tuck ups, Cossacks. Brad? Jumps and jumps. Stepping and oh, stepping and punching. Yep. Stepping and punching. Easy. I, uh, I expect 20 squat jumps per set, Will. I watched the tutorials, Rajan, and you said you could only get a good 10 out. Oh, yeah. That was uh, all hearsay. <laughs> <laughs> it was all a myth. All right, are we ready, everybody? Are we ready? Here we go. All right, the countdown is on. Five seconds. Three, <coughs> two, one. Tuck up. Let's go, mofos. Show me your best tuck up. Oh, no, I'm not very good at these right, ones. thrown the towel in. He's uh, worked off set. He's done with it. Yep. Vinny Brown is saying, we'll pay actual money to see Salsa Willie P style. You and many others will. That's good, because uh, I Vinny, do charge. Yeah, Will says no charge. It's coming at you free. Oh, I do charge. I do. I oh, you do on. charge. All right. No, I Will says, on, right? sorry, I do charge. All right. <laughs> Love and embrace the cardio. Will Gunner is saying yes. Good uh, one of our clients, uh, Barbara uh, Grace, she messaged me last night. She's one of our. Uh, she's not actually an online client. She um, just buys the programs individually. We Barbara just, Galas. Yes, that's yeah. the one. Just through um, confusion. We um, ended up having a call, and she lives up in Brisbane and trains. Six seconds, five with, seconds, uh, Cossack squats now. 
with. Let's go, Cossacks, guys. Come on, what are you doing, mate? You got to start yeah. the second that buzzer goes. Yeah, I'm Jesus, here, mate. all see, I got to do is spread did you my legs. See this a bit? guy? He wasn't even in, in position for when that round started for crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I was on my feet. Um, but yeah, she trains with um, a very, an internationally renowned couple up in Brisbane. Yeah, right. And um, sent me a routine that they were doing last night. And I'm getting itchy as soon as those dance floors back open. Yeah, look out. Would you look at this mofo? He's, uh, you know, just maintaining a good conversation during his cardio circle. Let's see how oh, long he just, can do that it's for. It's just not that hard. <laughs> I, well, I shouldn't say go. that round one, should I? Listen to him go. All right, that's it for the Cossack squats. We're getting ready for the squat jumps, folks. This squat jumps. Be interesting. Squat jumps coming at ya. All righty. Five seconds. Here we go. Come on, tribe. Come on, get up there, Will. That's not high enough. <laughs> Higher. You just wait till you're back. You gotta go as high as you can, man. <laughs> Crying out there. Would you look at this guy? He's only getting an inch or two off the ground. Uh, can we Head get through the roof, Andy's saying. Come on. Can we get some comparisons? Let's make Last it happen. Week. This is the next meme. Come on, tribe. We've got 15 seconds left. Keep it going. Keep it going. Show me some magic, everybody. Show me some magic. Five seconds left. Ooh. Oh, look, he's maintained it for the first round. Well done. Let's see how he goes. Oh, yeah, for, for the round first round only. Two, three, four, oh, holy five, holy. and six. Yes, that's right. We're doing six rounds today. Of holy the holy indeed. Will didn't Ten catch. seconds till stepping and marching. Will didn't catch my joke, unfortunately. But. I miss it, sorry. <laughs> I was just telling the guys yesterday. I think Here we go, tribe. Only one who caught my um, vaxxed, waxed, and ready to climax joke. Yep. I definitely got it. I got it. <laughs> Vinnie Brown's saying, I have to duck when I do the squat jumps with my low basement ceiling. <laughs> Good times. Good times, Vinnie Brown everybody. turning it up. All right, we are halfway through this station and almost finished round one. Round one is almost done and dusted, party people. Let's go, tribe. Seven seconds left. Come on, bring it home. Bring it home. Bring it home. Oh, I'm pooped. Woo. Here we go. Let's go, tribe. Come on, let's get it done, get it done, get it done. Let's pump it out, tribe. Let's make it happen, tribe. Five seconds. Don't stop, Paul. Uh. Well done. <sighs> All right, getting ready for the Cossack squats, people. <sighs> Oh, holy dooly. Okay, here we go. Come on, Cossack squats. Let's get it on. Maintain a rhythm here. This is not only adding volume to the legs, but we are doing a cardio workout. So you've got to maintain that pace, everybody. Keep it going. Let's work for it. You can see I definitely need to work on my ankle range to get that last little bit of depth. And either need to let my toes up or my heels come up a bit. I did a little bit of a uh, ankle mobility routine this morning. That uh, Rad posted up last week on YouTube, the thing we bobs. Gee, that's good. Oh. Okay, here we go. We've got Six five seconds. seconds left before we get into these squat jumps. 
Try to get at least 10 <laughs> squat jumps before regressing to the body weight squats, everyone. Let's do it. One thousand. Oh. One thousand. All right, well done, tribe. If you're feeling it as much as yeah. Willie P is, oh, yeah. let us know. Smash that like button. On a scale of one to Willie P. On a scale. <laughs> how much are you feeling this workout right now? <laughs> All right, let's go. Three, two, side. one, and go. Let's get that stepping and punching going, everybody. Hey yeah. Hey yeah. Okay, Tribe, we got 15 seconds left. Let's make it happen. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go for it. Oh, how many of these rounds? Four, four rounds. All right, Tribe, we have 10 seconds left. We're halfway through this circuit now, halfway through. Paul Lou is saying, Willie P, I've seen Derek Lewis with better hand speed than that, mate. <laughs> well, the number two heavyweight contender in the world. <laughs> That's all right. I'll let him have it. <laughs> Here we go, Tribe. We are into round three. We're getting it going. Come on, Paul. Let's go. Five seconds. Keep repping it. That deep, deep burn when you finish a set of abs, you think you're going to pass out. Five seconds. Cross axe. Here we go, tribe. Let's get those Cossack squats going. You really want to try and keep a pace going with these, up and down. Any brown saying surprise, no one has paused the timer occasionally during the cardio. Can you Would do that? Like when a Don't give him ideas, Vinny. <laughs> Ooh. You sure can do it. Ah, shit. I'll be keeping an eye on that clock. <laughs> All right, we've got 15 seconds left, Tribe, on these Cossack squats. Let's make it happen. Come on, come on. Well done, Tribe. Uh, Cossack squats done. We're halfway through the second last round. Let's get ready for those squat jumps. Willie P is definitely feeling it. Oh, yeah. Will he or will he not make it? Five seconds. Here we Here go. Here we go, Tribe. Come on. All right, let's go. Come on. Let's get those squat jumps going. I hope you guys are all working hard, pushing yourself. We're in week two of this program. The training wheels are off. This is a, a week to go for it and do your best. Okay, regress to just regular squats, air squats if you need to. If you're out of steam with those squat jumps, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm losing sets of 10. That's Well done, uh, tribe. You know, I just dropped my first F-bomb, but I whispered it so it doesn't count. <laughs> and Yanni didn't hear it, so it's okay. <laughs> 10 seconds. All right. Woo. 
Yanni's just been rocked by the news that AJ lost the heavyweight title. All right, here we go, Tribe, stepping and punching. Last station for the last round, everybody. Last station for the last round. Let's do it. It's all about rhythm with these stepping and punching. You just want to keep a, uh, at least a consistent pace. We're halfway through. If anything, you speed up as you get towards the end of the round. Don't slow down. We've got 15 seconds left. Let's everybody have a crack at going as fast as you can for this last 10 seconds. Go. Yeah, everyone else Ten go. Seconds. <laughs> That's it, Will. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Five seconds. Push yourself, everyone. Let's get it going. And that's it. Time. Oh. Well done. Well done. Oh. We have one round left now, everybody. This is it. Home stretch. One round to go. <coughs> oh. Some of you might know this exercise as jackknives. <laughs> the old school strict lingo. Fifteen seconds left, tribe. Uh. <sighs> Come on, last eight seconds. Let's go. Last round, everyone. Come on. Five seconds. <laughs> Get these last couple of reps and time. Uh, well done, well done, well oh, done. You only have three stations to go. Let's make it count. Oh, holy dooly. Last Cossack squats for the workout. I think that was of everything. All right, here we go, tribe. Here we go. <laughs> That's right, Vinny. All right, 30 seconds left. Come on, let's get these Cossacks going. This is your last round, last opportunity. Ooh, Cossack squats are a massive part of middle splits flexibility, so don't neglect them. These are a really, really good exercise for mobility and strength in the lower body. And in this case, also a great exercise for cardio. Yeah. Okay, last 10 seconds. Come on, don't give up. Keep it going. Let's make it happen, tribe. Five seconds to go until the end of this station. All right, time, that's it. We only have two minutes left in this workout. Let's give it everything you got. Find that second wind. Switch into top gear. <sighs> top gear. <sighs> Five seconds. <laughs> All right, here we go, tribe. Yeah, Richie's, uh, Richie's saying, funny story, Vinny, the other day when I was being filmed doing one of the UMS workouts, Rad had the timer set to 60 second rounds. I did. And uh, no, no. <laughs> he got through like, he got through one whole round going, oh my God, these rounds feel so long. What's going on here? And then we got into like round two and he, and he goes, Rad, you know, the 60 second rounds. <laughs> and we had, to, we had to start again to film, oh, film no. the whole thing again with 40 second rounds. Lucky we only did one round before Richie realized he was, he was doing these step up jumps going, oh my God, my legs are on fire. This is horrible. <laughs> Uh, it was good. It was my, my way of uh, subconsciously uh, getting Richie back. Uh, All right. Well done, tribe. We only got stepping and punching left and we are done. Uh, whoo, holy dooly. Holy dooly. One more, indeed. tribe. Ten seconds. And here we go. They're off and punching. Let's go, Tribe. Come on, last 15 seconds. Let's make it happen, everybody. Let's go, Paul. Come on, push. Do everything you got. Oh, he's calling Ten you out. 10 seconds. 10 seconds, come on. Let's go, Mark. When you're doing this workout, make it happen. Let's go, Mark. Come on, three, two, one. Woo! Oh. Well done, everybody. Oh. Well done.
Give yourself a round of applause. The workout is over now. We just have some stretching to do. Just a light little bit of stretching. Vinnie Brown saying laugh out loud. Richie, I'm sure it was an honest mistake. Yeah, it sure was. It was honest. And it was a mistake. Honest, I swear. <laughs> Good times, party people. Good times. Yeah. What am I doing? Let's get down on the mat. How's everybody doing? I'm gonna do the feeling. Paul saying, put some respect. Supine four hole on the Willie P favorite. name. Yeah. That's your. That's your first. Uh, is that your first lower body workout? First leg day. Yeah. For the, yeah. For the at home workouts. Yeah. Yeah. They are. They are the real deal. These are lower body at home workouts. These hit circuits. Woo. Good saying, well done, Will. Thanks, Tribe. Right back at you, Cleopatra. <laughs> Good uh, stuff. Alrighty. Let's get into some of these bad boys. Uh. Do a pancake first. Pancake is a, basically a regressed seated pipe and much easier to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my pancake. Yeah, yeah, that's all good. It's all good. And uh, if you're struggling with it, put your hands behind you and use your fingers to you know, prop yourself up like that. That's it. So that you can see what Will's doing there. It, it, it does require a little bit of effort in the upper body, but can you feel you get a better stretch like that, Will? Is yeah. That yeah. Definitely gives you a better stretch when, you, when you're struggling. And the pancake, for anybody that doesn't know, the pancake is basically just a regressed um, pike because by opening the legs up, um, it, uh, it deloads the hamstrings a little bit but allows you to get into that position easier where your body, um, where just the weight of your body falling forward uh, creates the stretch. So Will's doing a glute stretch here. Felix is saying, yay, Will, yay, indeed. Felix. Diane Norbury is saying, you are the cardio star, Will. Uh, I hit more reps today than ever before. Nice in my, work. In my life. <laughs> I also right. don't have to back this up with more training today. That's me done, so. Yeah, yeah. I don't have to think about That's doing That's the good thing filming. about these, being a, being a coach and doing these uh, home workouts is that you get your, you get your workout done, done and dusted. <sighs> Vinny Brown saying, awesome job, Will. Thanks, Vinny. Oh, appreciate the, the love, tribe. Woo! Didn't he do great? How's everyone feeling? Anybody else feeling like you got your ass kicked? <coughs> yep. I can say with all sincerity that I know how you feel. It is, those at-home workouts are the real deal. They are no joke. There is a, uh, based on how I'm feeling now, I think there is a chance you may be seeing Will tomorrow again as oh, well. Oh no. But tomorrow is so I much. I mean, yes. Well, it's so much of an easier workout though, isn't it? It is, tomorrow? I have done the Wednesday one. Well, not this kind of Wednesday, but. Um, <sighs> handstands, isn't it? Yeah, handstands oh, and good. L-sit. Well, D, uh, Deficit, Elsie. Yeah. And middle splits. Ooh, well done, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. <laughs> and, and as much as I did. Yeah. <laughs> that was all right. Once I got through the first two rounds and my knees were okay, I knew I would at least survive. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, when you do these home workouts for the first time, there's this real fear as a trainer. That, um, you're like, oh my god, am I going to be able to do this? Am I going to get through it all? Because they're not easy, they're tough. And uh, I've definitely had my days where I've been coming in going, sweet Jesus, is this going to work for me or not? And uh, yep, it's a great feeling, very sat a lot of satisfaction from finishing it. Oh, yeah. Simon Morgan saying, thanks, Will, great job. Thanks, Simon. Bruno saying, cheers, boys, and big cheers to Will. You're welcome, Bruno. everyone. Yeah, thanks so much, guys. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks, Tribe. I hope you guys all uh, enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed having Willie P for your model, for your coach. We just need to remember to dim the lights a little bit if I do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Too blinding. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's not shining and reflecting so much. 
Felix is saying thanks, Tribe. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. Thanks for the love, everyone. Thanks for giving Will some love. Thanks right. for tuning in. Thanks for all the support. I made it too. I'm a real attention seeker. Paul's saying, Will, you're an inspiration for gingers everywhere, isn't he? Gingers unite. After dark. Good sunscreen. Patricia Sturbys is saying, right on, Will. Woo-hoo. Woo! Patricia, That's I'm awesome. going to have to catch up with you and see how the uh, gym workouts are going now. Yeah. That you're back in the gym, how the yeah. strength is going. All right, thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, Tribe. Health is about performance, not just body image. You better be willing to accept what you're going to have to do to get there. We'll start focusing on movement goals, strength goals, flexibility goals. When you nail that skill, it's there forever. The body image goal doesn't get you that It's far. the consistency and frequency that's going to get you there. It's not the intensity. There's no shortcuts to mastery and movement. Destination doesn't change overnight, but your direction will. It's the gym is not the place to beat up the body that you hate. It's the place to build the body that you love. We are the gym that teaches people how to move instead of just exercise because we believe that health is...